Now I'm going to take you down memory lane. <laughs> Do you remember when we went to go and see, we went to the Royal Albert Hall um, for the Institute of Directors Conference and one of the speakers was Tim Smith. The, one of the co-founders that opened up the Eden Project. And the one thing I took away from that conference was this nugget that he gave us, which was he never employs anybody who hasn't failed. And, um, and the reason being is because if they haven't failed, then they haven't tried hard enough. They've stayed safe. So I wonder if you have a story, a snippet that is safe to tell where your career will not be in tatters <laughs> <laughs> of when, um, when you failed at something and, but yet gathered so much wisdom that had you not had that experience, then you wouldn't know what you know now. You can take a moment. Let me go back to when you were 19 rather than last week. <laughs> oh, heck. It's really hard. Because there will be, of course there will be. But it's trying to find something where there was a lesson and um, a development from it. You might have to think about that, Lisa. I mean, I wouldn't get a job there, would I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's interesting, isn't it? Because um, I always find that when we failed, you know, our mind has got our full attention because we're in so much discomfort and we're actually trying to get back up on our feet to, to run away from the scene of the crime, if you like. And, but I always find when we failed, as uncomfortable as it is, is a great opportunity to um, kind of think, why did I need this experience mm -hmm. for my goals for the future? And that's, that's kind of how I see it. Mm -hmm. I, I know I agree entirely. I mean, I suppose I'm mean, talking a long time ago, yeah, a long time ago. When I first, first, first started out working, I, <laughs> I worked in a bakery in a little town in North Wales where I had to get up at 5am and put the Cornish pasties into the oven and I used to have to put the jam in the donuts and I used to have to make the custard that went in the vanilla slices and that wasn't a failure, it wasn't a failure but what it did is taught me a really valuable lesson which was actually this is not enough for me and I thought it could be, I just needed a job Mm. I just needed a job. What it did is it gave me the drive to start looking mm. for a career. So while I was doing that, I then started to write speculatively to newspapers. And interestingly, I got into journalism through writing speculatively to newspapers and doing free work experience, which then ultimately led to being offered a full-time job. I got into PR by writing speculatively to PR companies, um, you know, just literally putting myself out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think to a degree, you do make your own look. You know, when people say well, you are lucky, it's like, you know, it's not luck. Well, you know, there's a lot of work has gone into getting I to think, where they are. I think if they just swap the word luck, fortunate we would never deny that um, that we feel fortunate doing what we love doing but it's not luck it didn't, it didn't knock at your door but I love that story I love doing something and realizing I don't feel the way I want to feel and therefore what is it I want and how am I going to have it and it's 